When it comes to footwear, they're the staple of summer, flip-flops. But while they might feel comfortable on a daily basis, the long-term effects can cause serious injury. In fact, many experts say flip-flops are the most dangerous shoes out there for men, women, and children. It all comes down to support. When you have no support under your foot and you're walking on hard surfaces, you're going to um, activity parks and amusement parks and you're walking, you just pull on that ligament and the bottom of the foot all day long. So it causes a lot of issues in that respect. Like critical problems in the arch and heel of the foot, including plantar fasciitis, or an inflammation of the tissue specifically on the bottom of the foot. Wearing flip-flops can also cause what Dr. Rowland calls bony problems. If you have long-term um, arch pain or heel pain, then that can actually cause bone spurs then adding more to pain. It can also cause some ankle pain because you're not getting the support of the foot. So then your ankle tends to roll. So no support as to soft tissue pain and then ultimately bony pain. And believe it or not, wearing flip-flops actually makes you walk differently. It's actually called the flip-flop shuffle. We take a shorter stride, so we have a shorter gait. And when we do that, our toes crunch up very tightly to hold that flip-flop on. So we're taking shorter strides, causing more knee and hip and ultimately back pain. And then also too, with those toes crunched all the time, you can get shortening of the tendons causing hammer toes long term. And since flip-flops are a mainstay for so many children, Dr. Rowland urges parents to take warning. Specifically in kids with either the slider or the, the thong type flip-flop, if they're playing outside or riding bikes, please do not wear either form of those those flip-flops because they are a detriment. They can actually get caught in the pedals of a bike or these you know, kids just go running and don't think about it. And either the thong can tear and it pulls and then they go tripping or their foot slides through on that slider and then they trip too. So it's a tripping risk and also if they're riding a bike, it adds problems to that as well. And never allow kids to run while wearing them. But flip-flops can be a hard habit to kick at any age. So if you must wear flimsy footwear, Dr. Rowland has a few recommendations for everyone. Limiting the time that you do wear them, wearing a supportive uh, flip-flop, either a slider or thong type. They are easily found in shoe stores, online, uh, look for an arch support, and also flip-flops that have a little bit of a heel cup to them to help control motion at the heel. That's the main thing. And remember, if you develop an unexplained pain somewhere else in your body, like your back, always consider your shoe gear. With Everyday Health, I'm Taryn Brill.